It's time now for a new segment. Travel Tuesday gives us at ABC 10 a chance to explore some of the attractions that God's country has to offer. We start out with a southern Upper Peninsula attraction that's more than just a zoo. Welcome to our first segment of Travel Tuesdays. Today we're at the D. Young Family Zoo in Wallace, Michigan. Let's take a look. The De Young Family Zoo started over 34 years ago as a way to help animals in need. What I did first was mainly animal uh, rescue and animal rehab and that, and started getting a little collection here, and then people wanted to start coming to, you know, see the critters and that. Then the next step was to get the exhibition license through the Department of Ag, and then, you know, it just snowballs from there. is more than just a zoo. It's a sanctuary for animals that need help. We are multifaceted. We do animal rescue, both exotic and domestic. Um, we're a no-kill facility for that. We work with other zoos all over the globe. So we've had animals come to our park from Jakarta, Indonesia, from zoos in Europe, from England, directly from Africa. Um, so working with zoos overseas and then also here in the United States, we work with several different parks. So then some of the animals are born here, which is always an exciting time for us too. And that's the best part about a new year at the zoo. We have several new additions this year. We have a little baby badger, we have several fox kits, we have the kangaroos, we have a little baby porcupine, and it's spring, so the new additions are just starting to come. So it's very exciting. You come several times throughout the summer and there's usually something new at the zoo every time. At the DeYoung Family Zoo, you can see animals that perhaps you have never heard of. It's a bit of an insight into the wide array of animals that live on this earth. The De Young Family Zoo is completely unlike any other zoos. It provides closer interactions with animals. Even if some of them don't want to cooperate. We want people to get up close to the animals, to actually get to hold them, look at them, smell them, touch them, watch how they eat and what they do. Because the one way we can really help to imprint on people how important and amazing animals are is by getting that up close and personal advantage where you actually learn and appreciate the animals that way. We'll start off smelling. Oh my it's in my hood. I, I don't like tea. Today it's too cold. Yeah, I know. It's in my hood. During lunchtime, zoo patrons can see the big cats being fed and maybe learn a little something about them too. While they can't feed the big cats, those patrons can feed the seemingly less harmful creatures. These animals eating their lunch has got me real hungry. There's some food over there. Many of the animals in some way or another have a reason to be at the zoo, whether they're on the endangered species list or not, and many of them are. It's important to know how to take care of them. You don't want to wait until they're on the endangered species list or the threatened list to all of a sudden try to help them. It's important to care about all animals and our environment so that we will continue to have these amazing animals to share our planet with. The DeYoung Family Zoo is open until November. For more information, visit our website, abc10up.com.